I'm back. I have a visitor. I'm going to my blood today. Yeah. John brought me because I'm doing the recurrent miscarriage, miscarriage blood, which is, means I have to give a lot of blood. And John didn't want me to drive home. No, no, no. I'm very wary of that. And yeah. I just wanted to be here anyway. So. so I'm supposed to be fasting this morning and I'm, I'm not sure. I was cutting up some banana for other people's breakfast and I think... <laughs> I put a little, like, pea-sized bit of banana in my mouth. I don't know. I don't remember. And in thinking about it, she thinks she I'm tastes gonna... it, and then she's and not I'm sure. I'm trying to taste my mouth, and I'm like, mm, I think there's banana mm. in there. Yeah. <laughs> but anyway, I've just had loads and loads of water. And so, yeah, this is just okay. one of the tests. Because we need to, we want to, we want to just make sure everything is checked. Mm. And this is, like, another one of those final pieces yeah we, puzzle we can't we can't we don't have that just look I mean, under the covers a little more and just yeah i think it's so like people should be asking for these kind of checks more because it's like i don't mm. we don't have any embryos to lose okay mm. we might have to go right, we gotta go okay hey so i'm just at my uh beautiful clinic they have a skin clinic attached to it so i'm having a facial but secretly the reason i have a facial here is because i feel like i'm closer to my embryos stupid right so they're like just up one level and i feel like if i have a facial here then it's just like easy to talk to them and like it just reminds me of that um scene in friends where um phoebe's talking to the embryos in the petri dish like it's so stupid it would never happen <laughs> but yeah i like to talk to them and be in close vicinity does anyone else have any kind of weird things about the location of your embryos do you like feel like you want to get closer to them it's it's so weird. Anyway, number one skin. Amazing if you want to have a facial and talk to embryos. You can see how excited she is. This is, I mean, it's, we, we know this is not going to be a good egg retrieval. No, we, we sort of, yeah. We're here for the DNC, which I know is going to hurt. So yeah. there's and not And we're doing the egg retrieval at the same time, which actually hasn't been fabulous. <sighs> there's not a lot to be excited about, really. No. I look really tired. <laughs> You're beautiful. Mm. Oh, it's very frustrating, but yeah. But we're looking forward. We're like we did, we did the DNC when we were successful with our transfers. Mm -hmm. so. <coughs> <coughs> there yeah. she is. Yeah. <laughs> so, but yeah, I'm not really excited, and I'm just tired, and it's it's harder after having had a loss because I'm just like I was pregnant last yeah. month, and now I'm not. So I'm doing this again. Yeah. Anyway, that's all. I don't really have anything to say. Groundhog Day. Yeah. Again. Yeah. We get picked up. Yeah. Okay. I've never seen this place during the daytime. It's actually a hive of activity. I usually come here at six in the morning. It's so funny. I have a really terrible sense of direction, but whenever I come here, I just walk straight. To the place because I've been here so many times and it's such burnt in my memory. That's so funny. After saying that I know my way around and everything, I just went to <laughs> where I always sign in and they're like, oh, we've changed it. So now I have to go back down. So, so much PTSD in this place. It's just so many memories. It's also weird because there was one staff member that I know so far and then, God, look at my eyes. <laughs> um, but all the rest are new, so that's weird too. These are amazing. My favorite part of the present is the underwear that I get to wear. No egg retrieval. I wonder, do they rip it off? Or do they like take it down like normal underwear? Like, look at this. They could probably just tear it off, which is yeah, such a funny image. It's one of my favorite moments of egg retrieval. I get to wear my gorgeous little outfit. A bit of a side thing going on today. Up for my surgery. I don't even care how many eggs there are. Don't. My doctor just came around and um, told me that they collected one egg, which was great. It's as good as I could have hoped for today, so something. She also said that the hysteroscopy was clear, nothing there, so. It wasn't that, that was the reason for the failed transfer last month, so 
never really get any answers. But for what we were expecting, this was the best outcome for today. So I guess that's something. Taking steps to keep my distance. I don't wanna fall. Now for the most challenging part of my day, I gotta get up and get dressed. So wish me luck. My tip, do as much as you can on the bed. So the pants and underwear and pull that before you get up. Well, I'm here to pick up. Uh, okay, good. I can't even see. <laughs> There's not much to see. It's got one on it. Oh. It's the least eggs I've ever collected. No, no, we've got one before. Yeah, we ended up with one before. Oh, mature. Well, we yeah. don't know if this one's mature. Yeah, that's right. But that's the best, I mean, that's the best outcome we could have hoped for today. Yeah, we kind of thought that was going to be the case. Well, we knew it. Yeah. Um, yeah. But hysteroscopy, she said she took some photos and stuff. She's going to send them. Yeah. Photos. Yeah, we can frame them, put them oh. on the wall. Photos of my Rough. uterus, but she said there's nothing in there, no yeah. problem. So it, it was nothing to do with that. No, it the... was just a, uh, yeah. As much as we had to say it, it's just a thing. Mm. Let's get you home, huh? <laughs>